study of sex is the study of the beginning of all life. And science holds the key. Behind many great television series are the awe-inspiring books that started it all. In a few minutes, you're going to see one of my favorite stories come alive. The Haunted Mask is a frightening Halloween story about a girl named Carly Beth. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV shows based on books. Operator, I'm a soldier. I'm a wounded man in Korea. I'm trying to reach my family from a foxhole. For this list, we're focusing on TV series whose premises, characters, or plots were derived from novels. I don't use people unless I can throw them away afterwards. I'm trying to strengthen our partnership. However, we'll be excluding shows such as The Walking Dead, as that show is based on a comic book series. I know it looks bad. We've all been through hell and worse, but at least we found each other. Number 10. Hannibal. When the fox hears the rabbit scream, he comes running, but not to help. While the cannibalistic serial killer known as Hannibal Lecter is no stranger to the big screen, Ryan Fuller was the first to adapt the character to the small screen. Oh, we could socialize like adults. God forbid we become friendly. I don't find you that interesting. You will. The series is loosely based on the Thomas Harris novel, Red Dragon, and adapts many of its characters and key elements. I'm hungry. Eat your nose in. Framed largely as a telling of the relationship between Detective Will Graham and Dr. Lecter as his psychiatrist. Are you thinking about eating him? Hannibal's true measure of manipulation has never been better depicted, as he deceives the minds of everyone around him to get away with his masterful murders. It's one thing to dream, it's another to understand the nature of the dream. You're waking up to who you are, that's all you need to understand. Number 9. Orange is the New Black I carried a suitcase of money, drug money, once, ten years ago. This comedy drama adapts the real-life story of Piper Kerman's experience in prison, as written in her memoir. Since the pilot, however, Orange is the New Black has evolved from being about Piper's time in a women's prison to a true ensemble piece. I'm not your wife. I threw my pie for you. Along with its critical success, the Netflix original series stands out with its highly original premise and colorful cast of characters. Are you a real woman, Chapman, a real grown woman? I'm not like all these other girls around here. I can't waste my time with these silly bitches. I need a real woman. While many of the personalities and experiences are admittedly embellished in the show, the author's portrayal by actress Taylor Schilling is all too real. You know, I only seem to be faced with these extreme moral choices when I am with you. Exciting, right? Number 8. Boardwalk Empire Nucky, all I want is an opportunity. This is America, ain't it? Who the f*** stopping you? This series was inspired by Nelson Johnson's Boardwalk Empire, the birth, high times, and corruption of Atlantic City. Picked up by HBO, viewers were able to witness the Prohibition era in Atlantic City in a way it's never been presented before. Look, you can't be half a gangster, Nucky. Not anymore. The series follows local mob kingpin Enoch Nucky Thompson, portrayed by Steve Buscemi, and his cutthroat methods to extort and control the people of his city. First rule of politics, kiddo. Never let the truth get in the way of a good story. Along with the non-fictional accuracy and performances, the crime drama was critically acclaimed for its engrossing visual style. What do you call an Irishman from Atlantic City? It doesn't matter where he's from, you call him an Irishman! <laughs> Now let me hear those pipes! Number 7. True Blood What are you? I told you, I'm a waitress. Charlene Harris's Dead Until Dark novel didn't hit widespread success until the vampire fixation era hit film and television. True Blood follows the book's main character, Sookie Stackhouse, a woman with psychic abilities who meets a 173-year-old vampire named Bill Compton. You're our first. Am I that obvious? I knew the minute you came in. With the discovery of vampires inhabiting the small town of Bon Tomps, Louisiana, the human residents struggle to accept their coexistence. I always thought as different as we are, somehow we could still be together. And, and now I don't know. 
with a cast of attractive actors and its timely entry onto the small screen. This TV adaptation of the Southern Vampire Mystery series was widely enjoyed by fans of the dark fantasy genre. You're connected. You'll be able to sense your emotions. You big lying a-hole! Bill, you're right. I believe I can sense your emotions. <laughs> Number 6. MASH there's an unexploded shell out there. We know, Frank, we know. We've got to evacuate immediately. I think I did. Let's go. Though the popularity of the 70s TV series and film overshadowed the literary novel, they still followed the original premise of a mobile army surgical hospital in South Korea during the Korean War. Reading smut to a child, that's terrible. This isn't smut, it's a perfectly good little story about life in everyday America. Anyway, the kid can't understand English. While the show did take place in Korea, viewers considered it a strong statement on the ongoing Vietnam War because of its detailed depictions of the conflict's events. You spring a leak? It stopped ticking. Let's get the hell out of here. We've only got two minutes. Maybe. Many of the first season's episodes were even based on stories told by real-life MASH surgeons. And it was the combination of true-to-life stories, magnificent acting, as well as comedy and drama that helped the MASH TV series succeed. No, I say, no! We're not gonna eat this drink anymore! We want something else! We want something else! We want something else! Number 5. Dexter I killed Freebo. Sorry about that. Before becoming a staple on Showtime, Dexter debuted in Jeff Lindsay's novel Darkly Dreaming Dexter. You're lying. Usually. Not now. No point. After being picked up by the network, actor Michael C. Hall took on the role of the righteous serial killer. The trifecta. Weapon, ammo, and impaired judgment. Throw in a little domestic violence and you have the perfect recipe for a family slaughter. Channeling his dark urges by disposing of degenerates he feels have escaped proper justice, Dexter Morgan strives to live a normal life while coexisting with his dark passenger. You can't think clearly because of them. They've done this to you. No, my dark passenger has done this to me. It's ruining my life. If anything, no series allowed us to relate more to a deranged murderer than this one. Doak said I had two choices, kill him or let him go. But he neglected to look behind door number three, hand him over to the FBI, gift wrapped. Number four, House of Cards. Although given our mutual disdain, I can't blame you for the silent treatment. Perhaps I'm speaking to the wrong audience. This Netflix-adapted series started with a novel written by British politician and author Michael Dobbs. We follow Frank Underwood, the cutthroat politician who will literally stop at nothing to work his way to the highest seat of power. I want to believe you, Francis. Being one of the shows that put Netflix original series on the map, House of Cards has received countless Emmy nominations not only for its infinitely impressive cast, but also for its outstanding storytelling. There is no solace above or below. Only us, small, solitary, striving, battling one another. You know a show's good when the President of the United States admits to watching it. I watch House of Cards. I haven't seen Scandal yet, but Michelle has watched uh, Scandal. I have to tell you, Life in Washington is a little more boring than displayed on the screen. Number three, Sherlock. Okay, you've got questions. Yeah, where are we going? Crime scene, next. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle created Sherlock Holmes in 1887. Over a century later, the master of deduction is still being adapted in countless films and television shows. I'm oh, enjoying the thrill of the chase is fine. Craving the distraction of the game, I sympathize entirely with sentiment. Sentiment is a chemical defect found in the losing side. This Emmy-nominated BBC series is one of the absolute best and most unique interpretations, setting the classic Conan Doyle stories in present-day London. Who are you? Sherlock Holmes. Am I supposed to be impressed? You should be. Have a nice day. Actor Benedict Cumberbatch has significantly redefined the role of the brilliant detective, partnered with Martin Freeman portraying his elementary sidekick. There you go, you see you were right. I was right. Right about what? The police don't consult amateurs. That 
was amazing. With heart-pounding suspense and inventive mysteries, Sherlock does the timeless character justice while giving him a modern twist. Now go and arrest him, Inspector. That's what you do best. We need to let our friendly bomber know that the case is solved. I am on fire! Number 2. Sex and the City Have you ever been in love? This critically acclaimed series had its humble beginnings as a column in the New York Observer, written by Candace Bushnell. It's like the riddle of the Sphinx. Why are there so many great unmarried women and no great unmarried men? After her ideas were finally published into a best-selling novel, HBO picked up the series that follows four women's lives in New York City and their various escapades in love, sex, and relationships. I told Aiden about the affair and he broke up with me. Trey and I never had sex on our honeymoon. You win. So, should we get more coffee or should we get two guns and kill ourselves? In between the show's quirkiness and satire, it also tackled pressing social issues and shed light on the male-female dichotomy. But he was gorgeous. And that's another thing. Men who are too good-looking, they're never good in bed because they never had to be. It further paved the way for more sitcoms with edgier subject matter and casts primarily comprised of women. And I'm telling you, I don't think a guy has ever gotten me that wet. That's salt. Milk? Ladies, let me tell you about his cock. Mm -hmm. Will you be quiet? People at the next table have a child. Well, that's their choice. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Gossip Girl here, and I have the biggest news ever. One of my many sources, Melanie91, sends us this. Spotted at Grand Central, bags in hand, Serena Vanderwoodson. We will now all be tested. these times, it is this pain that allows us to look inside ourselves. Why are you here now? I could ask you the same question. However, I'm fairly certain your answer could be summed up all into one little word. Elena. I told him he's got 24 hours to get out of town or I'm gonna kill him. And you? He pulled first, so that was justified. Number one, Game of Thrones. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. There is no middle ground. George R.R. R. Martin's adapted TV series has not only become HBO's most watched show, but has also set the standard for all television based on fantasy novels to follow. The man who passes the sentence should swing the sword. With brilliant storytelling and an integral cast, Game of Thrones has captivated a worldwide audience. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear it like armor, and it can never be used to hurt you. While based on the author's book series A Song of Ice and Fire, the TV series storyline progression has surpassed that of the books with no signs of slowing up. How can I rule seven kingdoms if I can't control Slaver's Bay? Why should anyone trust me? We just hope the show lasts long enough for us to find out who will take the Iron Throne. You will sit on the Iron Throne, but first there must be sacrifices. The Lord of Light demands it. Do you agree with our list? <laughs> okay, that's enough! Stop! What's your favorite show based on a book? I wasn't gonna wear it till I got discharged. With that bomb out there, I figured I'd be going home in a million pieces. For more awesome top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Where are you going? I thought we were having a drink. I already got what I wanted. What the f*** are we talking about?